Hi everyone. In a previous video, I explained how you can listen to Quark encoded uh, music uh, using your computer and listen to from any source. Uh, in this video, I will show you how from my quadraphonic, I'm able to stream into binaural. So first, please wear your headset. This recording should be in binaural. All right, that's it for the demonstration. So what happened here? I've used different uh, type of software. I'm using OBS for streaming, um, but here I'm using it for recording, but I can use it for star streaming. Uh, you may have seen that there is a uh, interface which is called Black Hole. So I've downloaded Black Hole. Black Hole, you can find it here in two channels. It's an interface that allows you to create a virtual audio interface. So you can send sound to it or you can receive sound from it. I'm using um, a Juice plugin um, host uh, from Juice that allow me to route any audio uh, via a plugin and then to another other audio interface. So what I have here is that you may see that I've got a black hole interface here. What I'm doing is that I'm using my um, audio input, which is a uh, a Scarlet interface that I'm using here. Uh, what OBS does is that it only recognizes the first two channels of any new interface. So in the past, I've been uh, using the um, mixer inside the focus right to send a mixed down version to one of the edge port, and then with a cable bring it back to my first and second channel so that I can grab it from um, OBS. Here in this case, I'm doing something differently. My modular synthesizer has got four output interfaces that I've connected on my uh, Scarlett audio interface on port 5, 6, 7, and 8. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I'm routing them to my binauralizer studio, which is a plugin from noisemaker.fr. And from there, the binauralizer studio will send uh, two output uh, which has been binauralized to my black hole interface. 
uh, from there, then I can receive it here in OBS and then stream it back to you. Uh, the second one that you see is my uh, microphone here. So you can see me speaking into the system. So let's see how we can redo this interface. In a previous video, I explained how you can uh, compile uh, the uh, audio plugin host from uh, Juice. Uh, it's not too complicated and there is some other site also where you can download it. It has been uh, compiled already, but uh, usually it comes with Xcode, which is um, Mac Apple uh, compiler. Uh, you just load it in Xcode, you run the compilation, you find the executable and then you just start it. It's not too complicated. Uh, you will find the link to the other video that explains you how to create this um, uh, audio plugin host. All right. Let's try to redo it. So I'm going first create a brand new one. So you can do from it. All right. When you start, uh, you may find it in this uh, format. So you've got an audio input, audio output. So if I double click here, I get my audio settings. So first on output, on input, I want to create grab the uh, output from my Scarlett interface you see that's all my audio interface that i have so i'm going to grab from my scarlet interface i'm going to send it to a black hole to channel so that i can have this uh, source into obs all right so output channel active output there's only two uh, output channel but on the uh, scarlet you will see that there is a lot of input there's the analog input there's a loop interface and there is a few digital input also. I've selected the sample rate at 14 kilohertz and I don't need to use MIDI. So that's the first step. Now I need to route all this internal. So the first one are the analog, then you've got the loop, then you've got the digital to my black hole interface, which is here. So same, when you double click on it, you get the same menu. So what I need to do is now I need to place my plugin in the middle. So I right click and I go to Noisemakers and I find the Binauralizer Studio. So the Binauralizer Studio come here and you see it's got only two input interface. So that's not cool for what we want to do. Uh, so uh, I right click on it and I configure Audio I.O. So I'll bring the window here a bit closer. All right, so you see in the input configuration my channel layout is stereo. No, I don't want that. I want a quadraphonic layout. And you see, as soon as I pick up quadraphonic layout, I've got four input. And here I want on output stereo. All right, now I can start to map. So we say that on my system, it's five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five. So five, I connect here. So it's easy, you just need to draw it. Six, seven, eight. And my two output will go to my black hole. All right, now we need to configure the plugin. So I just double click on it. And here is a plugin. So you see it's set up in the stereo mode. I go here on the little wheel. And what I want is that I want quadraphonic. So I set it up for quadraphonic, so you only return as quadraphonic. Which one of the two to choose? In my configuration, I've got my left right speaker in front and my left right speaker in the back. So this is the first one. LR, LS, RS. LS is for surround. So and RS is for surround. So I want this version because that's what maps my speakers. Then HTF, uh, this is the um, uh, head. Uh, representation, so it's a standard one, it's an Neumann, it's based on their uh, ambisonic microphone, I don't have a low pass. So this is how I set it up. Um, so I can clear, so you see there's a kind of a representation of my first speaker around the person. There is also a gain here, that's useful because when you aggregate four speaker into two channels, usually the volume will increase because, you know, uh, you've got more. So I found out that if I bring it down like minus 10 dB, uh, 
uh, then it will not clip when it's uh, rendered at uh, stereo. And I've got a little bit of room in um, OBS uh, if I want to boost the signal or not. Uh, so here is my binauralizer. And now uh, in OBS, I've created an audio source, which is black hole. So I've set it up, device here. I can pick up any other device. There's no configuration to be made. You just add it and you make sure that it's not muted. And then you are receiving the uh, audio in Banneralize in OBS and you just need to stream that. This is as simple as that. So here you go um, to get a quadraphonic to uh, two channel. Uh, why that? Because YouTube and other platforms uh, are very good for stereo. So if you want to give a sense of uh, space, uh, creating the sound in binaural uh, will give a sense of uh, space to people. It's supposed to uh, represent the way the signal will reach uh, someone's ear. Um, there's a couple of people experimenting with binaural at the moment. Uh, so it works depending on the person. Uh, it's also very relative to the shape of your ears, the shape of your heads, uh, but in general, uh, that works good enough. So I will uh, replay a little bit of music, I put some headset because it works on headset. Any headset will do. You can use your, um, uh, I don't know, your iPod or your in-ear monitors or any uh, headset. You don't need a specific headset. You don't need something. Um, that has been designed for binaural. A good asset, your favorite headset is the one to do. The one that you have on hand is a perfect one. If you listen to it on speaker, then the binaural effect is getting uh, changed because now you've got the sound which is getting mixed uh, um, into the space around you before it reaches your ears. Uh, so binaural needs to be experienced on headset. The advantage is that uh, a lot of people listen to music on their phone or watching YouTube on their phone. Uh, this is a, and they are watching it or listening to it with, you know, with a set or uh, Airbus. So uh, there's a lot of people that have got this equipment. So I hope I explained a little bit how to uh, create uh, a listening experience in binaural from any source, quadraphonic to binaural. And uh, I'll put the link in the description of uh, all the tools that I've used, the link to the other video that I explained how to create this, um, uh, this plugin host. I uh, hope you liked it, enjoyed it. And I'll see you again for some video. If you have got some comments, please leave that down and I will explain. Thank you very much for watching.
Thank you.